video, we go over two examples involving Pythagorean theorem. The formula for Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the longest side length of each triangle, also known as the hypotenuse. We can find the hypotenuse by finding the right angle of the triangle and going directly across from it. So in our first triangle, we have our right angle right in the corner as shown by the little box, and then the side length directly across from it is going to be the longest side length called the hypotenuse. So now that we know the formula, let's get over to our first example. We have 7.4 as our longest side across from our right angle, and then we have 3.6 and x. Now let's run our formula. We have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's say that 3.6 is going to be a and then x is going to be b. It doesn't matter what you pick for x and 3.6 as long as you know that neither of them are the longest side length. So let's put 3.6 squared plus x squared equals c squared of 7.4 squared. Now 3.6 squared is the same as 3.6 times 3.6. So we get 12.96 plus x squared equals 7.4 squared, which is the same as 7.4 times 7.4. So we're left with 57.76. Now we want to isolate for x, so we subtract 12.96 to both sides. And we're left with x squared equals 41.8. Now we have to get rid of the squared. We know that taking the square is the opposite of taking the square root. So if we want to get rid of the square, we have to take the square root of both sides. So we're left with x equaling the square root of 41.8, which gives us 6.47. So the side length of our unknown side is 6.47 meters. Now moving on to our next example, we have x right across from our right angle, and we have 4 and 8 on either side. So again, let's write out our formula of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now it doesn't matter what you label for a or b, so let's say that a is 4 and b is 8. So we have 4 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared, which is our hypotenuse of x squared. Now we know 4 squared is 4 times 4, so we're left with 16, and then 8 squared is 8 times 8, which is 64. All equals x squared. Then 16 plus 64 is 80, so we have 80 equals x squared. Now to isolate for x, we want to get rid of the square, so we take the square root of both sides, and we're left with x equaling the square root of 80, which is also 8.94. So the length of our unknown side is going to be 8.94 meters.